Welcome to Greg's Maker Corner. I just wanted to share a little bit about the Maker Coins that I was printing on my Voron 0.1 while I was at Murph uh, a couple weeks ago. Had a really good time there. There were some challenging conditions with the humidity. And while I was there, I was really trying to tweak the speed so that I could show something kind of interesting and maybe why you might want to get a Voron 0.1. It really is kind of a, a game changer when it comes to being able to print parts quickly. Um, I just wanted to show you the maker coin that I made and just how fast it was printing. And it really did make for a great demo. Okay, here goes the first layer. As you can see we are printing pretty fast. Uh, we're actually going around 80 millimeters per second right now on this first layer, which is just incredible. Think about it. A lot of times printers are going to go a lot slower on the first layer. But we, we really don't need to with the Voron 0.1. Here I am on the first layer, you can actually see what it's doing, and this is what I have on my slicer. I'm just gonna let it run here for a few seconds. Putting that first layer down pretty good. And this really did make for a great demo at Murph when people were just kind of walking around checking out the printers and you know, you know, all the sites to see at the booths. So I had several walk-ups and people just kind of like, wow, that's that's going pretty fast. And during the conference, I was experimenting a little bit, uh, just doing some changes and tweaking things. And what I really found is that probably about a 160 millimeter per second, I probably could push the first layer even faster if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I, th I think this is about right. You know, one thing you'll notice, this first layer is a little low. Um, that's okay, I actually haven't even re-leveled my bed since Murph, so probably need to do that, but uh, I could raise the, I could probably raise the Z-Height just a tad. But it, um, it's looking pretty good. One of the things, uh, I've got the top hat off right now, and I've also got the door open. The reason I did that is because uh, I was really getting some focus issues when I had the, the stuff on, so it's hard to kind of see things. But here you go, you can just take a look at mainsail over here. Got it set to 160, uh, but just kind of the way it's working right now is around 107. But when it starts getting a little bit thicker as it goes up, it's going to really be pushing this. All right, let's just finish up the second layer on the back coin. Okay, now it's got the fan turned on and it's starting to cruise. It's doing the outer shell. You can see we're hitting uh, 133 to 160. That's, uh, that's really cooking there. And you don't really hear any noise other than the belts and the motors moving. Um, the frame itself is very stable. The that you see here, this might be a little more typical of what you would see on a larger printer. So this might be 1,000 acceleration, 60 millimeters per second or so, I think is what I had this one set up. Okay, so now we are starting layer four. Still getting some really rapid movement. Now we're actually hitting the full 160. And I'll show you my slicer settings here in a second. But yeah, that's that's really cooking along. And you know, for me, the speed, this is exactly why I wanted to build one of these Voron printers. So I can print these maker coins, you know, way faster, probably in half the time that I would spend on a larger printer even though I can print more of them. So here you can see what I've got set an idea maker for my slicing profile. And really it's um, it's 160 across the board. I do have an 80 millimeter per second for the first layer speed, but everything else is pretty much in the 160s here. Now the supports, I'm not printing supports and none of those should impact my speeds. I may end up tweaking some of these other um, settings as well, but I probably want slower speeds for my bridging um, and I, you know, the overhang shells potentially as well. So this is the reason why it was printing slower than 160 is because I've got slow down first few layers and I'm basically saying slow down the first two layers. Okay, now you can see that it's getting to the point of where it prints infill. And this is also set to 160 and we're getting 160. Now, could I push this printer more? 
Absolutely. You know, I, I know there's people that are printing above 200 um, and maybe even 10K acceleration. I don't necessarily want to do that because this is probably about as fast as I think I need to go. Um, and I don't really want to risk shaking up the, the belts and some of the other, like the tool head. I do have Loctite everywhere, so that definitely helps. But um, something else that you might have to worry about when you start pushing more and more would be things like your your heat. You know, can your heater cartridge keep up? In my case, I'm having no problem at all holding 210. But uh, the more and more, you know, flow that you have and speed, that's going to, um, it, it might make it a little more difficult to keep up there. But certainly you can continue to push it. Yeah, overall, I'm very happy with the speed and the performance now that I've got the Voron V01 working well, printing well, calibrated. Um, and I think I could certainly still push it some more, as I said, but in reality, it, it's good enough for my purposes. And with that, I'll just let it keep going for a little bit. And uh, as always, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.